Okay guys, so I have the fish inside of the hefty bag. I'm about to shake them on up, get it all coated, and come back. Okay guys, I am using canola oil. I am putting it inside of my skillet. Uh, wait until the oil gets hot. I have it on eight. Once it gets completely hot, I'm going to do a test run, put a little bit of cornmeal in it. If it sizzles up, then that means it's time to go ahead and add your fish. If it doesn't sizzle up, that means you need to wait, and then you'll add your fish after that. And I wanted to tell you guys a quick tip. Anytime you are shaking up flour uh, with meat in it, anything like this, make sure you do it over the sink. Because there have been several times I shook it up and found out that it was not closed completely and it got all over the place. I also want to tell you guys, you know, if you follow me, you know I love hefty bags. I was being cheap. I was inside of Big Lots and they had, um, oh, wow. You know what, y'all? This is actually a hefty slider. I thought this was one of the uh, Big Lots kind, but ooh, well, hefty. What are you doing, guys? I have never had a problem with this slider doing this. So watch where you get your hefty bags from because they usually always real good. It never say hefty basics. It always say hefty slider. But anyway... Make sure you shake it up in the sink because you see this is all open. And if I just start shaking it up, this would have been all over the place. Okay. Okay. It's nice and coated. Now we just waiting on the grease to get hot. And while you waiting on the grease to get hot, go ahead and get you a real plate, not a um, paper plate and put you some paper towels. So once the grease is, um, once the actual fish is done, you're just going to lay it on this. But if you use a fake plate, like a plastic plate or anything, that hot grease is going to melt straight through. So make sure you use, again, a real plate, glass plate, um, and then put your paper towels so that paper towel can drain the grease from the fish. And see, this is how you do a test run. Put a little bit of the cornmeal inside of the grease, see how much it uh, sizzle. If it don't sizzle a lot, then wait for the grease to get hot. Once it sizzle good, then put your fish in. Okay, guys. I have the fish inside of the grease. It is cooking excellent. What I'm going to do, because you guys know I always like to clean up as I go, go ahead and get everything cleaned up, um, as well as watch a fish, um, but get everything cleaned up so you won't have so much to go back to once you're completely done. Okay? Okay, what I like to do too is I like to kind of scoot them over a little bit to make sure they're not sticking to the bottom of the skillet. So make sure you touch them and toss them a little bit. Um, you're going to know when it's time for to turn them over. They're going to look brown. Um, I would not keep turning them. Just, you know, just wait until it cooks on one side. Once it's done, cook it on the other side. Because if you keep turning them, you'll um, tear the meat up and all that stuff. So just a quick tidbit. Okay, now what I want you to do is lift the fish up and look at the fish. Look at the bottom of the fish. See if it looks crunchy and look like it's done on that side. If it's done on that side, then you need to turn it over. If you turn it over and you see it's not done correctly, but don't turn the rest of them over, okay? But if they are, go ahead and turn each and every one over. Okay, guys, so you can tell the bottom is getting crispy. So that right there lets you know soon it's going to be time to turn them over. I like to use like two spatulas <laughs> to be able to get this out because I do not like to get burnt. So you do what works best for you. You might do better with this or you might do better with spatulas. But I do better with spatulas and I'm going to use two at one time so I can turn them over safely without that oil popping. Because I'm telling you guys, I don't like to get popped. That's one thing I do not like to get is pop. <laughs> Okay, guys, see, mine is nice and golden. I'm going to wait till the other side get nice and golden. Um, and then I'll be done. But like I said, you guys, just when you turn it, be careful because you don't want it to break because it can break really easy. You see how that other one tried to break on me. But always use two spatulas, okay? Tip, have you your dish towel available so you can be wiping the, the uh, stove because it makes a mess. This oil most definitely make a mess, okay? Okay, you guys, it is officially done. 
And what I'm going to do, because my brother always told me, he's, he's an excellent cook, always put a little bit of seasoning on once you take them out of the hot grease. It makes the seasoning really, really stick better. So here we go, guys. I made the um, fish. We get eating fried catfish. I also have some crab cakes. And I, and I also ate a salad. So that's what we'll be eating for dinner today. What are you guys eating for dinner? If that video helped you, if you will, please make sure you guys subscribe, rate, and comment. Bye, guys.